This is going to be an energy reading for Pisces. If you are Pisces, this energy reading is going to be for you, beloved. All right. Let me see. So, yeah, I could be dealing with some financial issues or financial setbacks. Okay, or someone in your energy is. Okay, some financial hardships. Okay. But let's see for Pisces. I ask my higher self, the most high, and the ascended masters to help you in this intuitive reading. Alrighty, Pisces, at the bottom of the deck, you have the golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissistic, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Okay. So it looks like y'all have someone who could be narcissistic in your energy. This could be a love bomber. Okay, it could be unrequited love. Someone's very self-absorbed. Okay. We have keys on the ring. Many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. This could be someone who has options. Okay. You're going to have a decision to make, especially when it comes to somebody who could have been stringing you along or trying to treat you like a one night stand. We have challenges here. This one says make a decision to work on inner healing. Okay. Something about the situation is trying to show you that you may need to work on some more healing, especially if you have somebody, um, trying to string you long or treat you like a one night stand for Pisces. We have Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. There could be someone who feels like Cupid has hit them when it comes to you. I feel like this is a different energy. Let's see, for Pisces, what does Pisces need to know? We have patience just a few more months good things come to those that wait it wanted to come out in reverse someone could be growing impatient with someone very narcissistic to be someone who's stringing them along could have many options i could be experiencing challenges in this connection but it's to get you to make a decision to work on inner healing and i told y'all y'all had a decision to make so challenges coming out I feel like that's the decision is to make a decision on working on inner healing. This could be maybe you practicing more self-love, especially with the love bombing here. Okay. Someone could have tried to rush out into something by love bombing you, um, you know, was in, uh, growing impatient with a situation. Okay. We have mirror mirroring each other. Self image reflects our wounds. Introspect. It's a mirror here twice. Someone definitely likes looking in the mirror, looking at themselves. Very self-absorbed. Okay. But you're being mirrored things. You're being mirrored things from this person to have you self-reflect. Because whatever this relationship is, it's kind of giving karma, y'all. Okay. It's to help you to reflect on your wounds, to introspect, to make a decision, to choose inner healing, to work on inner healing. Okay, and this could definitely have something to do with self-love. Okay, you could be trying to show someone unconditional love and needing to practice more love or somebody. Um, it's kind of giving like somebody is there to teach someone unconditional love and the other person is there to teach um, someone self-love. Okay, we have abundance here. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what it is that you want. Give gratitude and bliss. I'm seeing y'all attracting an abundance of love, but y'all have to get over whatever this challenge is that y'all that y'all may be having when it comes to healing. It's being mirrored to you. Mirror energy, mirrored numbers can be significant. I'm seeing 12, 21. Okay, 1001. 0, 0, 1. 11, 11. 2002. 0, 0, those numbers can be significant. 23, 32, 24, 42. Okay, let's see. We have the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. Somebody definitely has a third party. Okay. Somebody who thinks they're clever. 
Okay, this could be someone very malicious. I'm not telling you that you need to look over your shoulder, but you might need to be cautious of a snake in your energy. Okay, and it could be this person, this narcissistic, self-absorbed individual who feels like they could string you along. So take it how it resonates. Let's see. For Pisces, we have commitment. Things are getting serious. Some of y'all are committed to a snake, Pisces. This is somebody who's very narcissistic. They're stringing you along. Okay, or they snake child commitment by adding a third party, another woman or another man. Even though this card says the other woman, it could be another man, okay? But somebody's definitely snaking a commitment, which is kind of giving me like breadcrumbing a commitment. Somebody's breadcrumbing a commitment by stringing you along, love bombing you, possibly creating challenges in you guys' connection. Okay, but this is being mirrored to you to help you to choose healing. And I'm really hearing love. We have talking, interesting, conversing more, awaiting message, arrive, text, call, email, Hoover. Yeah, I could be talking to someone that y'all want a commitment out of, but it's really given this person is either being a snake towards you or they have a third party in their energy that's a snake. Either way, I feel like that's a snake because if you're talking to me, you should, and you should be, I mean, you know, if you're talking to somebody else, you shouldn't be talking to me. I mean, if it's just the talking stage, yeah, you could talk to, you know, multiple people. Maybe not having sex with them, you know what I'm saying? But it's kind of given like the romance for you is blooming. Like you're looking at it like this could be an abundance of love, a commitment, like y'all talking. But there's challenges here because you're being mirrored some type of snake energy. And I'm not saying that you have snake energy within yourself. It's something that about you and practicing self-love that could have attracted this person especially if they're real selfish self-absorbed they care more about themselves than they care about you pisces at the bottom of the day we got engagement ring okay engagement partnership commitment eternity completion union and manifest you guys could be manifesting a commitment something that's gonna be a last for eternity or you know just you want a real committed union connection this is what you're manifesting okay we also have they'll be back expect to hear from them soon so somebody plans on returning okay and then we have love i told y'all i was hearing love unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection attraction i really feel like it's a lesson on self-love someone needs to stop thinking so much about themselves and learn how to you know Love, have love for others care for others and then there's somebody else who i don't want to say that you need to be more careless about others but it's like you may need to focus more on loving yourself and not pouring so much into others okay someone may text you saying that they love you saying that they want a a, a marriage but definitely trust your intuition when it comes to this because this could be um a narcissist trying to love bomb y'all into a commitment okay let's see at the bottom of the deck we got the queen of swords gemini libra aquarius use your discernment okay especially when it comes to someone you could already be guarded towards for pisces queen of wands here because i see that this person finds you to be very attractive they find you to be smart but with the queen of i mean the king of cups in reverse this is unrequited love this is someone who um i want to say overly emotional with the king of cups in reverse but it's really getting me more so like emotionally alive this could be someone who lacks um emotional intelligence okay could be a pisces cancer scorpio but let's see at the bottom of the deck we have the three of cups here cancer energy could be significant someone wants to reconcile with you this is someone who betrays you and that's the truth truth to clarity they could have talked about you to their friends okay somebody could have told this person to juggle you let's see for pisces we have the will of fortune here sagittarius energy it was fatal to destined for you to meet this person okay and you could be single or this person can be single. But I'm seeing options here with the Seven of Cups, Scorpio energy, Capricorn energy. 
Someone could be creating an illusion around having options, saying that they're single. We have the Nine of Wands here, Sagittarius energy. This could be someone you have your guard up with. Okay. Yeah, I also could have had someone who was very persistent in your energy when it comes to wanting to heal things with you. But I'd be mindful because this could be someone who's operating out of hurt. They may want to heal things with you, but they're creating some type of illusion, possibly about being single. We have the Page of Swords in reverse. This is definitely someone gossiping and spreading rumors about you. But the Hangman card here, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. This person is getting changed perspective, or you could be getting changed perspective. You could be seeing through somebody's illusion. Okay. You may even hear some of the gossip of the rumors that has been going on around you. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. But I feel like whatever enlightenment that you're going to receive is going to help you to work through, seeing through some type of illusion that has your guard up. Because you may not even see, you. I don't know, it's like you're going to get truth the clarity. You're going to see something more clearly. But right now, Pisces, you're not seeing something real clearly. That's why we start off with that Queen of Swords. Spirit is saying, use your discernment. Because using your discernment is what's going to help you to discern through somebody's bullshit. Do you hear what I'm saying? And it was fated for you to meet this person because you need to be able to discern when somebody's lying to you. Because it was definitely someone who was betraying you, possibly trying to ruin your name or talk bad about you, gossiping, spreading rumors about you, spying on you, studying you, creating illusions. Out of hurt. And now they want to heal things with you. Possibly because they see that you're single, you're independent, you've been working on yourself. Let's see, for Pisces, we have the High Priestess in reverse. Pisces, energy, someone has hidden intentions when it comes to working with you. I'm trying to tell you, there's somebody who's operating out of hurt. I don't know if they, um, I don't know if they feel hurt by you. Or if somebody else betrayed them or. But someone definitely has hidden intentions to why it is they want to heal things with you. And you have your guard up with this person for a reason. But I feel like maybe you haven't really gotten the, to the clarity to why it is that you feel so guarded towards this person yet. But that's because you still need to work through some type of illusion that you're not seeing clearly. Okay, but once you receive this enlightenment. In this hangman position, once you receive this enlightenment, it's going to help you to realize maybe some sacrifices that you need to make or how someone tried to sacrifice you in a situation. Okay, hold on, y'all. Alrighty, Pisces. We left off with the high priestess in reverse. So someone definitely has hidden intentions. Okay, and I feel like y'all are not trusting your or you're not trusting your intuition. When it comes to why you're feeling so guarded towards somebody. Because I feel like they're not blatantly putting something in your face about them having options or creating illusions. Maybe you feel it. And that's where your discernment comes in and trusting your intuition. Some of you guys can be healing the intuition or healing your mind's eye. You may not have had um, a third eye awakening yet, but I feel like it's coming if you haven't. Um, you will soon because that's what's happening here. Somebody's um, third eye is expanding. But you need to learn how to better listen to your intuition and trust it. Especially if you if you in your in your body, you feel guarded towards this person. Like you feel guarded for a reason. And that's because this person is creating some type of illusion. And we had keys on the ring so they can have options. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups. This is, I mean, not the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups can be significant. This could be someone you're in a relationship with or were in a relationship with. Take it how it resonates. But we have the Knight of Wands here. Aries Leo Sag energy. Okay. This is someone who's in and out of your life. This is someone who y'all have sexual chemistry with. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They feel like you got healing good good. They feel like you got healing good good. But at a distance, this person has a, a Queen of Cups, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, who they're in a relationship with. I don't know if... This person, this person could be sneak linking with a queen of pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This could be a baby's mother, mother figure. And then at a distance, this could be you. 
someone that they see as something um, very loving. They could be having sex with somebody who they feel like has um, healing juju. Then at a distance, they have you. And they could even have romantic feelings for you. But this is someone who's working and collabing with other people. I feel like they're working and collabing with two different people. It's two different people on this card. This could be a masculine working with two different feminines. One that they feel like they have healing sex with and then the other who they have like an emotional connection with. Okay, you flip and switch the road for you because y'all could be the queen of pentacles. They could be having sex with you because they feel like you got healing juju or you could be the queen of cups, the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the, the somebody who they have feelings for, who they want to have a relationship with. So flip and switch the road, had go. But this person feels like Cupid's arrow hit them with someone else, whether that's you or another person that they have at a distance, and but they still having sexual intercourse with somebody else who they feel like they good, good is healing. Okay, let's see. For Pisces, we have the two of swords here. That's why they were stalling the situation. Indecisive. Possibly about you. And you could have been blind to the fact this person could have been gossiping or spreading rumors or maybe even the third party. I don't know. The third party could have even been gossiping and spreading rumors about you to have someone indecisive. Pisces. But there's a lesson here with the horrific card here. Taurus energy when it comes to love. The choices that you make in love. Someone needs to work on, I feel like, the choices that they make in love. Not telling you to choose better, but it's kind of giving like you're using, you need to use your discernment about somebody you've already been getting an inkling about keeping your guard up on. And I don't know if this is when it comes to you having sexual chemistry with this person or romantic feelings for this person. But either way, this person is creating illusions about why they're working with you. So either they working with you because they really want to have a relationship with you and they have romantic feelings for you but the hidden motive can be hold on y'all back to what i was saying pisces i'm sorry but either this person is working with you because i feel like they're working with multiple options they're either working with you because they want to heal things they want a relationship with you they have romantic feelings for you or they work with you because they feel like you got healing juju okay but this person has been stalling a situation with you because of that and it could be multiple people because the seven of cups could be multiple people that this person could be working with multiple lovers okay with six of wands here though i do see someone um making progress when it comes to the choices that they make in love making progress with learning a lesson and working on themselves possibly working on their heart space or working on better trusting their intuition especially when they feel guarded towards somebody if you feel guarded instantly towards somebody is usually a reason like don't doubt your intuition i feel like that's what somebody's doing someone's doubting their intuition about something that they feel guarded about and whether you are in the position of the person that they this person has romantic feelings for or the position of this person having sexual chemistry with either way i feel like it's a lesson Okay, that someone's definitely going to learn. They're going to receive enlightenment. The divine is uh, giving someone the tea. That's what I feel like. They're giving them the enlightenment. They're opening their eye. Okay, we have the five of cups here. Yeah, someone's definitely becoming disillusioned. Scorpio energy. Someone could be sad, disappointed. About a truth that they could have been blind to. Especially if they receive some type of um, enlightenment about this illusion that somebody tried to create or paint. Okay, let's see. For Pisces, we have the King of Cups in reverse. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Scorpio energy here, Cancer energy. And Pisces. Yeah, we got all three. All three right here. Heavy on the Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. One Scorpio. We got Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Sagittarius energy here. Libra energy here. Gemini. But this is a masculine who...
can be um, emotionally unavailable to one person and then emotionally available to another. They can be overly emotional about the person that they are emotionally tied to and they can be emotionally distant when it comes to you and them. Okay. I really want to say that this person is you that they're overly emotional about, but it's, I don't even know. It's kind of giving, it's not. Because that's the hidden intention there. I don't know. It's, that's the part that's getting me is the hidden intent. Because if they're having a loving connection with you, what are they hiding? Because if they were hiding a sexual connection, I feel like the sexual connection is about them just being there for your healing good good. And I really feel like it's more so that because it's, no, it's not really cups here. The only cups we have is the seven of cups and the five of cups. Seven of cups is about illusions. Five of, uh, illusions, choices, options. The five of cups is about sadness, disappointment. It's not giving like there's love here. And I'm not saying that it's unrequited love. I'm just saying this person is emotionally unavailable to you. It's kind of giving me like y'all are that sexual energy. Y'all, even though y'all are the queen of cups because y'all are water sign, Pisces, but um, it's kind of giving me y'all the queen of pentacles. Y'all could have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your chart. I really feel like someone really they're they're kind of, i don't want to say like addicted to your good juju but like you have a healing energy like when you when you have sex with people it feels healing to this person and so it could be addictive and that could be the hidden intent that they're there, they're kind of there just kind of feeding on your energy and they could be doing that and then going and trying to establish a relationship with somebody who they have romantic feelings for so be mindful of that Cause I feel like with the go to mirror here, this person, they may not be a narcissist, but they're definitely narcissistic or very manipulative. They're manipulating someone for sex for just the, for, for their energy. And then they go on and manipulating somebody who they're in a relationship with saying that they don't have options possibly. Cause they definitely create an illusion. At the bottom of the deck, we got the six of swords. This is someone you're moving on from Aquarius energy. Okay, you could have been meditating on this for a while with the six of swords and the four of swords. <laughs> Okay, with the six of swords and the four of swords, y'all definitely, y'all definitely going to meditate on a betrayal. And we had the ten of swords in the beginning. Someone stabbing you in the back. Y'all are gonna move on from a betrayal, possibly recover from a betrayal. But y'all, it's something y'all need to meditate on. That's gonna help you to change your direction and focus. Cancer energy, especially if you've been in your head, because someone's been um, stuck in their head with the Eight of Swords, Gemini energy, because of somebody who's playing mind games with the Five of Swords, Aquarius energy, when it came to a new beginning. Someone's at a win at all cost energy. It's kind of giving me like someone wants to be able to have their cake and eat it too, and they're in their head because like, they want to travel towards you, possibly to sleep with you. Okay. But in the same time, they want to start a new beginning with somebody who they feel like they are that's, that, that's their soulmate. For some, this person could have ghosted you. Okay, with the Ace of Wands in reverse, this could be um, a false start. Someone could have got a false start. Okay. When it comes to a new passion and beginning, someone was definitely like pulling from somebody's sacral. And with this card, even though it's the sacral card, you see this face on here that where the, the this is being ignited right where the third eye is. So I feel like y'all third eye um, could have gotten triggered when it's, it happened this, um, when this false start started. Okay, maybe open your eyes more about being patient, uh, knowing your worth, being patient, knowing your worth and seeing more clearly. So someone's definitely going through like a mind expansion or a third eye awakening. Okay. You're an earth angel. You could be alchemizing this energy. Okay. Then we have someone who is being patient to come towards you. This could be a king of wands, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Whoever this is, they're taking their time to come towards you. This could be that person who wants to give you that new love offer, Pisces. This is the person who wants to give you the new love offer. Give you that new beginning in love. Whoever this king of cups in reverse is, they ain't it. Okay, this is someone who really wants to invest in you and start a new cycle with you, start a new chapter. Okay, world card, Leo, Aquarius, uh, Scorpio, 
Taurus energy is significant. Someone's leveling up. They're planting seeds towards growth. But there was somebody who was being dishonest. Taniki, very strategic. When it came to a path that they chose, now they could be going Mom. broke. Okay, somebody could be dealing with... I saw two snails. Okay, somebody could be dealing with um financial issues or health issues. I kind of got that in the beginning. Someone definitely has some type of health issues. For some, someone may get kicked out of a home or kicked out of a marriage. Okay, for keeping secrets, for creating illusions. Okay, this could be someone who suppresses their feelings. They're very immature. This is someone who's emotionally immature. Okay. They're a page. They don't even know how to express their emotions. They don't know how to regulate their emotions. If they are overly emotional about you, this is somebody who don't know how to regulate their emotions. They're emotionally immature. They could be going through an ego death with a, a death card, Scorpio energy. Okay, or this is you. You could be getting signed synchronicities that you're going through some type of rebirth, some type of transformation. Okay, there could be some nostalgia there. But I'm seeing y'all taking action towards breaking a generational curse. And building towards something that's going to be long term. Whatever this is, I feel like it's not as stable as, as it should be. Someone could be back on bills and stuff. It's kind of given to someone um, may need to get their priorities in order. Okay, we have a king of swords here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, this is someone um, who wants to talk to you about having sex. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, Pisces. Okay, or have a conversation with you about somebody who they were having sex with. Okay, it could be a wife, a baby mama, mother figure. Okay, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they had at a distance. And then when it comes to the Queen of Cups, they could have romantic feelings for you. Slip and switch the roles, y'all. Because some of y'all is going to be that you're the sexual connection and this person is usually for your good good. But others, yeah, they all are in a romantic relationship with this person. Like this person has romantic feelings for you, but they still have other options as well that they're trying to work with. And they're hiding the fact that, they do, that, that that's what they're doing. They could be playing single, creating an illusion about being single just so that they can have options. Okay, but things are being made fair. Okay, because you're the empress. All right, someone also could have a karmic baby's mother. Someone could be going to court. I don't know if this is about a child or some of the sort. Okay, someone could be blocking a karmic. It could be this masculine. Okay, with the emperor card. I'm also feeling like protect your energy, especially if this person has been obsessing about giving, getting the good good. Okay, because for some, y'all, you just have healing energy. If you're the empress, you have this healing energy. You carry all four of the queens. The empress just came out in reverse. I'm definitely seeing someone who has a karmic baby mother. It could be very needy. Okay, I'm also hearing desperate. could also be desperate. So they could be taking them to court. I don't know if this is about a child or about finances. Whoever this masculine is, King of Pentacles, Swords, Virgo, Capricorn, they know this masculine is stable and reliable. And they want this person to penny pinch and juggle. And that's the truth. Truth to clarity. Someone's going to see more clearly that they have somebody who's trying to betray them. So, I don't know. It looks like y'all have a mirrored situation. You could be going through something similar to somebody else in your energy who wants to give you a love offer. They could be dealing with somebody very needy, codependent, uh, obsessive, controlling, has blocks, has restraints. And you could be dealing with somebody like this who's trying to create illusions. But I do see y'all possibly reconciling with somebody or uh, connecting with somebody. But there's somebody who betrayed you who you're going to start to see more clearly about who wants to reconcile with you too. This person may manifest to you. And someone could have also manipulated a third party to betray you. Ooh, you're going to see the truth. Okay, it's going to be exposed. It's going to be illuminated to you, especially if you see happiness with this person. You get a feeling of belonging with this person. You're going to start seeing this person from a whole different perspective. Whatever perspective that you see. For some, I feel like y'all may see this person in, like highly. You might think highly of them until you start to see more clearly and start paying attention to them signs and stop ignoring your intuition, especially if you felt some type of guarded towards this person because that's what I'm getting. It's really giving me like... Y'all feeling y'all, y'all feel in your soul, in your body that there's somebody that you have to have a guard up with. But you're not trusting yourself about the illusion that this person is trying to create or paint in front of you. And then you got somebody else, a masculine, because you're the empress, that's what you're dealing with. And then the masculine could have somebody doing a, a similar situation. 
they could be going broke dealing with a needy karmic who's possibly trying to take them to court either for a child or for finances okay someone can definitely be taking something to court pisces but i definitely see in someone wanting um to have a relationship with you who has romantic feelings for you they want to date you they want to heal things with you it could be a king of pentacles a taurus virgo capricorn or uh, a king of wands that aries leo says but this king of cups in reverse mm -mm, baby it's really giving me more so they're emotionally unavailable to you and they're overly emotional about somebody else who they want to be in a relationship with and y'all could be in a relationship with this person and they wish you for the good good you know what i mean for the stability that y'all could create uh with each other and this person could be dealing with financial issues i don't know if they out of work or they financially set back because i definitely heard that in the beginning somebody's dealing with some um, financial setbacks um and this could be someone's karma okay but that is the energy reading for pisces <laughs>